My name's Russ Cook and I'm attempting to become the first person ever to run the entire length of Africa. This is where I started, this is where I'm heading and this is where I am now. I've run 14,964 kilometres so far and I've got 1,475 left to go. So far on the mission. I've survived alone in the desert, a robbery at gunpoint, near death in the jungle, a brutal crash, horror infested waters, malnutrition, sickness and injuries and raised £253,000 for charity. In this episode, the sandstorms return yeah. and the boys face the end of their time on the mission. A familiar face. Get this one to Junior's end. May yet save the day. Well done, yeah. 20 days, 1,467 kilometers. It's nothing. Nothing. You're supposed to feel a shower and how I mean, I do paid wipe shower like every day, but oh, yeah, first okay. legit shower since Tindu. So, like, what's that, 10 days? 750k since the last time and shower. It's good as like you don't have any long hair or anything, so yeah. you know, dirt stays in there. You just wipe everything clean with a baby wipe. Exactly. Yeah, my baby wipe showers have got pretty efficient though, can't I? Get baby wipes and like a little cup of hot water goes a long way. Beauty tips with the rose cook. Are you, do you reckon you're actually quite competitive? Like when you get challenged something, you'd be like, nah, f that, I'm gonna beat them. Did you ever do the challenge before? I said still. What, you mean that time I actually wiped the floor with you when we ran 100k? Yeah. Did, did I feel competitive? <laughs> Bad day to be Gustav like that was, wasn't it? Right, I'll never forget seeing you at 90k and being like, how you doing? You're walking like... <laughs> I'm like, how are you? You're like, yeah, I'm sweet, mate. I'm really fine. I'm absolutely fine. I was like... <laughs> now you did a fucking good job of poker face though, because you actually convinced me that you were going to keep going for ages. I believed it myself as well. Really? It was yeah. not just a poker face, it was like, I was fully, convinced fully I was... Fully believed you, yeah. Oh. I think that's what everyone's got a bit of that. Like, I do that all the time. Yeah, I noticed. Fully delude yourself into thinking that everything's great. <coughs> <coughs> oh. Everything's fine, right? Yeah, totally great. 100% great. Everything was great, totally fine. My body was in perfect condition and my Achilles didn't hurt with every step. I stomped down the tarmac with all the power of a gazelle on steroids, because I was fine. But even full on denial mode couldn't help our van, stranded back in Bashar. So the mechanic reckons, obviously the injection has gone Yeah, as per. Same problem as last time and the time before. They reckon there is an underlying problem, which is that one of the pistons in the engine has gone which is a very expensive problematic fix. Mm -hmm. Talking four or five days at the shop, potentially 1,000 pounds that we don't really have to spare. This may actually be the end of the road for, for Nelly, which is heartbreak. We got in touch with the Hotel Kaima guys. Legends. They're gonna ask Hakim if the van might make it with only fixing some of it, which mm -hmm. would be cheap. If we can fix the injector two, three times more, we can make it to the end, mm -hmm. is the theory, but whether that actually works in practice, I don't know, because potentially the piston's just getting worse and worse and worse. Lots to figure out. As the boys sat and contemplated the future of the mission without Nelly, potentially facing the end of the road for them too, I was on the road for my second leg of the day, oblivious to it all. But as I continued through the stunning desert landscape, a light at the end of the tunnel appeared. Just had another little update, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, Rad just gave us a call from Hotel Kaima. He got in touch with Hakim. Hakim did not like the price that was quoted to us. <laughs> and Hakim's driving out here to Beshar to come. Like <laughs> 800 kilometers. Cause he's like, F this shit. I'm gonna help these boys yeah. out. Rad might be coming with for a little road trip. Get the band back together. Honestly, I mean, it still might be that the price is just too expensive for us, but this is very hopeful. I just can't believe how cool those guys are. Honestly, probably some of the best people I've ever met. Really. I love him. I think he's just made it his personal mission to get this one to Junior's yeah. So yeah, we'll see what happens. This was truly insane. The boys had tried to protest, but Hakeem, the mechanic who fixed our van the last two times for free, was a man on a mission. This level of kindness was like nothing any of us had experienced before. He was literally willing to drive the distance from Brighton to Edinburgh just to help us out. Whether he could fix it or not, this gesture gave us all the hope we needed. Another day done, boys and girls. 75.4 kilometers in the tank. I'm absolutely cream cracked. Legs are fucked. But we're another day closer. See you in the morning.
The next morning, I hopped out onto the road to blast away another chunk of mileage. It was a beautiful day, if hot, and there was no wind to be seen. So I teared up the kilometers and chucked them in the bread bin. The end was close and I could feel it. Wow. Oh, I am a bit stiff. What is this, lemon juice? I think lemon milk. Never had lemon milk before. I'm messing out, I guess. Oh, mate, that's actually unreal. No. Wow. And life gives you lemon. Make lemon milk. Make lemon milk. <laughs> I wonder how the boys getting on with the van. As you can see from Hotel Khaimat in Doof, I'm headed to my friends, Jimmy, Stan, because they need some help. So, our destination is the shore. But there was a problem. Akeem's car had also broken down. Did that stop them? Of course, fing not. I'm taking the bus. There's no flights, no taxi. This is the only alternative, so. It's going to take more than my hours, I'm afraid. But I'm coming to you, but. As these two absolute legends sped across the Algerian desert, so did I. This country, though I hadn't been here very long, had been an incredible experience. At every corner, we were shown kindness and hospitality, and it's genuinely helping me to get through the insane mileage on vibes alone. As I passed into another town, it was time for a classic to return. So I found some lovely snacks. Some baklava with some pudding, some lemonade. All together, less than one quid, I would say. Not bad. It's taste. Mm. It's actually really good. Pretty amazing if you ask me. Let's taste some baklava. It's actually really good. I was afraid it would be like way too sweet. Only reason I bought a lemonade was uh, to flush the sweetness away, but it's actually really doable. Really good stuff. As night fell, the dream team was still on the road, but finally nearing Bashar. We just got off the bus and we are waiting for one of Hakim's friends to pick us up. Yeah. He looks tired. This is Hakim with his friend. What well, are a few steps from you guys? This is nearly the van. Stan! Hey. There they are. <laughs> Come here, how are you? How are you? Right. Jimmy! It's good to see you, lad. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out. No problem. How was oh, the it's trip? Pleasure, you know. My God, I can't believe you're here, man. I know. Oh, shit. Look at these eyes. <laughs> well, the injector, you know. The key to Nelly's heart. Yes. I think I should propose to Nelly. <laughs> Okay, uh, we have to take it somewhere else. Now that we uh, fix it, you know. Yes, it's, sure. it's not the right place for it. We are going to stick to the garage. Okay, sounds good. Hakim knows everybody here. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. go. Let's go. <laughs> well, this is going to be fun. Oh, Hakim, the legend, as he's officially known in Stan and Jamie's phone books, managed to slowly inch the van in first gear to his friend's house. It's done. <laughs> done? Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> well, I think the same class we should celebrate. <laughs> That's good. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the love I have for these guys, man. Just about to leave. Give some love to Hakim in the comments. Hakim, the legend. <laughs> Kindness didn't even stop there. Hakeem's friends took the boys into their home for tea and cake, and then Rad bought them dinner, aggressively refusing payment every time. These guys were truly the best of humanity. Meanwhile, I was on the road for my final 35k, pushing up yet more city streets. Yo. Good morning. Good morning. Had a lovely morning run, evening run, night run, whatever. Lovely, lovely stuff. Another 75k in the bread bin. Can't wait to wake up and there's only going to be 18 days left. Yeah. Right, I'll see you in the morning, mate. 
Guys, is it time to leave? Yeah, Gonna head back to Tindu. I can't believe what you did for us. Actually, it's always uh, an honor. Give my regards to the other guys. Yeah, we will. Yeah. Say hi to everyone back in Tindu. Such a pleasure to see you. Be here with Hakim, mm. you know. <laughs> so, we will take care of ourselves. You too. Maybe you see you in Tunisia. Hope we so. hope so. Huh? Tunisia? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm the one who brought him here, so I'm good. You can put him, in your, put him in your suitcase. I've got a backpack. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Love thank you guys. Oh, you too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. See you. See you, Rad. Take care. Take care. Oh, I've got a business. I'm genuinely going to miss him. I'm really sad. Please, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> bye. bye bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Where do we even go from here, Stan? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Back to Tinduf, I think. I think so. I might live there. Yeah. F man, I can't believe what they did, man. And it's worth saying as well, like, we didn't just gladly accept. We were like, we really don't have to do that. Yeah, we made that very clear. But they would literally not take that. Yeah. Yeah, like we're coming, we don't trust anyone yeah. else to fix them. We want to do this. <laughs> Rad told me that they wanted to book a plane to fly from Tinduf to here. There, there were no flights. So then they took the fucking bus for nine hours to that come out crazy. here. And again, we paid for parts. Only for parts. They bought us dinner. They paid for their transfer. Like, honestly. And we, we kept trying to pay for <laughs> yeah. rent, aren't we? But the only thing I managed to buy was a coffee for Rad, which was 25 feet. And he barely accepted that. Yeah. Absolute Brilliant. heroes, man. Yeah. I love them. But as I thought I was about to sleep, we were met with trouble. There is not much left of our security unit. Please let us continue walking together because this place is not safe and is a transit centre for drug smugglers. Holy six key. Holy. He is tired of yeah, running. Yes, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. The security division headquarters is sure, yeah. from here. It's much better if we stay here just to find them to run, to run, to run. Six kilometers. There's no time. Yeah, we need to put on camp not, out. Not a... We need to sleep. There's no time. 75 kilometers. <laughs> Right, time again. As I set off back onto the road, having thankfully not moved from last night's camp, Nelly was finally back on the road too, in all of her glory. It was only 200k to reunite us. Surely nothing could go wrong. Well, slow down. Left back tire is deflated. What are you doing, Stan? I thought Nelly was fixed. Yeah, she was fixed and then she broke again. Did she? Yeah, she did. How? The tire went. The only spare tire we have to run. And the rim is gone. So I've just been hitting this with a hammer for the last 10 minutes. Seems to be holding now. I managed to inflate it, but whether it holds while it's driving is another thing. So we're going to swap out the wheel and just do some tests. So far, yeah. We're gonna inflate it up to full, then we'll do some gentle driving. See what it says. Right, you ready? Somehow, Stan's caveman level repaired worked, and they were back in business. And as they closed the kilometers on us, I was closing the gap on my first stop. How are you, sir? How are you? Well, so up What's the man? Just be alive. How would you rate the Shannon Maria the last uh, 24 hours? <laughs> um. For me personally, they have been, let's not call them annoying, but like the most motivated Shana Marie in yeah. making other people do what they want. Last night they wanted to move us, didn't they? I think it was for no other reason than they didn't want to stay there. Yeah. And they wanted to take us to their security unit so that they could f off. Yeah. Now what you said was like, ah, oh, my driver, he's sleeping. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that's what I said. I went first, I'll go with, yeah, drive, oh, my driver's sleeping. No, sorry, boys. You know what they did? They came to you and they were like, really? Bang up! 
And then at midnight, I don't know if you heard that guy with a flashlight in my eyes. I'm like trying to block like the light with my hand. Yeah. So he's like, move, move, move. But I don't know if he was wanting us to move or he was just asking the time that we were gonna move again. He was like, move, move. I was like, why? And he's like, okay, good night, sleep well. Yeah, they tried to tell me to run on the other side of the road this morning. I was like, no, I've been doing this a while. Why do you always have to run against traffic? That's dangerous. If someone's about to run me over, I want to I wanna see it. That sounds like you have a bit of a mental issue. I don't claim to be an expert on too many things, but when it comes to running on roads and avoiding uh, traffic... There got, he goes again. I've got, a, I've got a bit of experience in that one. There he goes again. But I can't know what I'm doing there. My favourite member of Winnie Tucker. Yeah. Same though. I'm sexy. I missed you. You say it, you might get a better reaction. I miss you. Uh, hello, Shatsy. <laughs> How big Alchemist. Oh, right, yeah. so now, Jamie, if you cut it so that you saying it to him isn't him, and then that's his response. I don't want to do that. Finally, the dream team were reunited and we powered on together. Today's route took me through an insanely beautiful canyon lined with palm trees and towering mountains. This gave way to a beautiful town nestled in a valley. Algeria truly was a spectacular country. What did you say about that fox that you found? He was just chilling out on the side of the road, just leaning. Stood bolt upright, staring me dead in the eye. Dead. I want to know who killed him and who decided to just like feed sticks through his legs and just lean him up or something. Totally bizarre. So she's working here, eh? Yeah. Why did all ejectors go? We're not, it's probably a combination of shitty Mauritanian fuel, which is Algerian fuel mixed with water. So they buy the Algerian fuel and they put some water in it. That is the most stupid shit I've ever heard. They buy fuel and then put water in it. Well, it's to make more money, yeah? That's like next level down that. How much for a car? They're really nice, man. It was similar to Tinduk in the outskirts, but at the centre it had like this big, beautiful kind of village squares that looked like Italy. Also Hakim and uh, Rad. You've got to imagine. Yeah. We said, you don't have to do this, we'll find another mechanic. Rad was like, no, Hakim will be very offended if you find another mechanic. How do you manage to like always stay excited for the run? No, I don't. <laughs> How many days have you been with me? That's how, how much, how excited do I look every day? Tomorrow? Every day, every man, you so look excited, so excited, yeah. bro. It's just that natural enthusiasm that I've carried, isn't it? Can't get enough of it, mate. I just fucking love it. It's... Do you think you will mentally survive ending this mission? I just don't know how I'm going to cut. Alright. Goodbye, Russ. Absolutely fucking buzzy. I trudged off into the blackness to complete another gruelling 35k and collapse into the sweet release of sleep. Good morning, good morning. It's a bit windy today, eh? Yeah, I was sleeping in the wind. Motherfuckers. <sighs> My luck had finally run out, and I was greeted on the road by a tasty sandstorm. This time, the wind was not blowing me along. I dragged myself along, forcing my body against the solid wall of sand and wind that grinded my face and eyes. All my good morale evaporated. It was a brutal shift. Mate, it's pretty relentless out there today, can't lie. But it all gets done in the end, doesn't it? It all gets had in the end. How many days left you? 17. That's the map though, look. We're looking pretty good right now. I actually cover bare ground when I've run 75k a day. Mm. Yeah, but honestly, I wish we thought of it here. Yeah, isn't it? Would have been done in 220 days if I'd managed to just start oh, okay. That's disheartening, to be honest. That would have got us home for Christmas. I pushed on into the violent winds to get shanked up by the sand for another few hours. Honestly, I felt like I'd done my fair share of getting brutally f***ed by sandstorms, but Mother Nature disagreed, and who was I to argue? Luckily though, she decided to give me a bit of a break. By sunset, it calmed down a little. It's Ramadan at the moment, religious fast for Muslims, where they aren't allowed to eat or drink during daylight hours. So sunset also brought with it an incredible show of hospitality for the boys. What's happened here then, lads? We bought into a village hoping to score a free uh, Ramadan meal. And uh, the villagers uh, are running all around town trying to get us some, uh, some soup and bread for us. Shukran. Shukran. Wow. Is it already time to eat? Probably not, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Is it sunset? I, I guess the sun is set. 
Sign. We wait. Sugar, sugar, sugar. We, we wait till we hear the prayer. Yeah. Mm. That will be loudly heard. Then it's time. To... Ah. Bismillah. Well, that's even better than yours. Hot, spicy, very good. Amazing. Very good. Loads of coriander as well. What the hell? <laughs> Feck. She's like, I want my bidet. <laughs> I was back on the road for the night shift and the wind had done me dirty yet again. It picked up even more than before, blasting sand across the desert via me. The new mileage along with sandstorms was genuinely brutal, sat every ounce of energy and morale I had left. The amount of sand behind your laptop is insane. Yeah. It would all look like this if it hadn't been like blowing it all away. Yeah, same. Yo, how are you doing? It's that headwind the whole way, yeah? Yeah. I thought those days were over. Just getting thrown about in the wind for a few hours. But, uh, yeah, go again tomorrow. I'll leave you alone, but first turn that head torch off for a sec. Look, look at the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No. Right. In the next episode, the sandstorms get worse, I shortcut across the desert and reach a thousand kilometers from the finish.